uh, come or whatever, like, he sent me an address on Merrill's. He stopped answering the phone. He stopped um, saying, like, uh, responding. I was like, yeah, cousin's a bitch. And then he called me. He texted me. He was like, um, I have a career to think about. I'm like, oh, yeah, you a hoe. So if he told you that, I'm crib. He got to run on that video. I really think we should dissect this video. Okay, now let's think about it, right? Ralphie brother has got killed over some street stuff and he's expected to retaliate and get rid of the people and possibly go to prison forever and leave his family or anybody else or what he's trying to build behind. Now, in the sake of honor, like, you know, men live for honor. In all actuality, that's one of the, the, the biggest things to us. Like, it's in twine with respect like if I if I went to prison for doing something to somebody that did some foul stuff to my people forever is respected is honored like I'm cool with that generally or as a man we're cool with that generally now however self-preservation says something opposite to that Ralphie has a life that he needs to live and people that depend on him. So it's understandable to approach the situation cautious. Now him, I don't know if he's ever did a skit with this dude, cause like, bro, I'm not about to slide with a random, a new booty. I'm not saying he's new, but like just in general, you think you in the field, like you been from three weeks, you wanna slide. Bro, nah, you got a demo first. Psst. It's be telling. However, outside of that, if he does this and goes to prison forever, then what? What about the people that depend on him? This be the thing I have with the culture. Like we have expectations on our people that's real detrimental. We have tendencies that's real detrimental.